Welcome back Shooter, this time I'm going to be talking about my tripod and saddle configuration. I'm talking about the, this one is made by Shadow Tech, it's the model P0311. This is the one currently issued to the US Marine Recon and Sniper Forces. And the saddle, which is a precision clamp that I use for precision uh, shooting, it's made by Hawk Saddle that was uh, founded by a retired uh, Marine Sniper. Uh, this item is pretty much made for professional use. It's been uh, used extensively by several special forces operations. I'm talking about military snipers, and it's also extensively used by uh, police agencies, their sharpshooters, their SWAT, SWAT shooters. Uh, some other users is going to be the PRS competitors uh, when they're moving from one stage to another. Uh, some people, the uh, hunters, who have to lift their position from the ground because the grass is, ex is too high. And finally, people who like to set up their firearm for home defense or any other purpose from a higher grounds because sometimes because of the weather situation you're, it's not very comfortable to sit on your fire arms when it's too hot or if it is snowy on the ground. So stay with me and let's do it. Starting from the bottom, the first part you're going to see is going to be the tripod. This is made by the company Shadow Tech, the model P0311, which is the code for snipers, scout snipers. This is made of an aleation of aluminum and magnesium. It's extremely resistant and it's resistant to rust. This is something you don't have to take care of. This is not for photography. This is the military use. If you extend it all the, the way up, you're gonna have 61 inches high. So extremely high. If you are six something, you will be able to do scouting spotting with your spotting scope without having to be tilting or chasing the uh, scope or bending your knees. And if you fold it all the way down, you're gonna have only 11 inches of height for all those cover operations, surveillance, or defensive position. On the bottom here, you're gonna have a hook. Uh, here you can put your backpack, just make sure uh, you are in accordance to the maximum support that this one has. It's only 26 uh, pounds that you can support. This is rated for the 50 caliber. There are a bunch of videos on YouTube about this tripod being used with a 50 caliber barrel. However, uh, don't try to exceed the 26 pound that this is rated for. I mean, the total of the, the weapon itself with the scope, the bolt, and the saddle, it has to be below 26 pounds, which is enough. Uh, from the factory, it comes with the rubber feet, but it also includes the three uh, metal spikes in case you're going to be taking shots from irregular terrain. I'm talking about snow, mud, uh, you know, rocks, whatever. Don't use this one if you, if you live in a wooden floor house. You're not going to like the outcome. It's going to damage it. The way you lower the feet, you're going to have to lift them up a little bit, push them in. And pull out this release, and then the same for each one of them. Pull them in, pull out this till you feel the, the clamp. You pull them out, and then once you're out, that's when you can expand them, and you're gonna be able to lower this to its lowest, which is 11 inches. Very good. Very easy to do it on a camera, huh? So you don't compromise your position and you keep it better. There you go. Perfect. Extremely stable, extremely comfortable. This is it. The next portion is going to be the bolt head. This one is made by Sunway Photo. The model is the FB 52 GNN. This is only one pound ball head. It's extremely lightweight and it's rated for 45 pound, 44 pounds, excuse me. It does not mean you're gonna put 44 pounds to the tripod. Remember, it's only rated for 26 pounds, otherwise you're gonna damage this. It means it will take over 44 pounds once you stabilize your weapons to move it, to make it rotate. That's what it means. The diameter of the ball itself is gonna be a 52 millimeter ball which means it's gonna be the rotation, the inclination, very smooth. It's gonna, not gonna be like previous models where it was kind of robotic and kind of uh, sliding and a little bit forceful. It is very comfortable and it is very reliable. 
on the bottom, you're gonna have a rotation marks that with a 365 degrees angles, this one over here is gonna be the adjustment knob for those rotation. Once you leave it where you want it, it's just mark it and never move it out of zero. And then I just keep it there and fix it using this knob. And next to it, you're gonna have a different turret or knob. This is the one that regulates the tension on the clamp that is going to hold to the arc rail that uh, attaches the whole saddle to the ball and then to the tripod. This is one of the most important parts. This is what you're gonna be playing play pretty much all the time with. This is gonna be for the tension of the ball, the rotation. You're gonna have a 365 degrees rotation on the top. I believe it's 20, uh, 15 or 20 of angle for elevation or inclination rotation on, it. on the side. It came with a level that I never used. The last portion of my key is gonna be the Hope saddle itself. As you can see, this is it. This is the one. It is made out of a CNC machine. It is built like a tank. There is a cheaper version that is pretty much used by DMR and a lot of hunters called the Peak Saddle. They both are sturdy, the same kind of sturdiness the other one is sort of heavier this one is lighter uh, but the other one is not really that effective when you go over the 600 yard this one is the best one for 600 yard and above and beyond uh, I would highly recommend this one if you are a, a police or if you are a military sniper this is in the inside made out of rubber on the side this is the turret that you're gonna regulate or you're gonna clamp either your uh, observation spotting scope I'm talking about the loophole a uh, mark 4 with the h32 reticle I already made a review I'm on my video if you want go take a look at it you can also clamp over here your designated marksman rifle or like uh, AR with an improved barrel and special ammunition or finally your precision rifle I'm talking about your 308 your 3 Winchester Magnum your 338 or your 50 caliber It comes in an olive green. The previous version, I believe, was not the olive green, it was a different color. Uh, this is rated to be used with a 50 caliber Barrett. It's, there are a couple of videos over the internet that you can tell it's been used. Finally, we got to the point where I'm gonna have to teach how to use it. The first thing you're gonna do, you're gonna put the rear legs on the back, so they're gonna be taking all the recoil. The second thing you're gonna do, you're gonna find your center balance. If you put it over here, it's gonna fall. So find your, find your center balance. And then secure it, it's just twisted. You close the saddle. Then you position this, this is kind of high for me. It was supposed to be in the middle of your center chest. I'm going to lower it. There. You're going to stretch one arm. You're going to lock it. This is right in my center chest, right in between my sternum, in between my nipples, where you do your CPR. You position yourself, and then you're ready to engage. There are many more positions that are told by militaries and law enforcement officers. I really don't know them. I only use this one for zeroing and, and hunting. Uh, this is the basics, there are some other with a loophole, with a sling, etc. Uh, but this is pretty much basically all you're going to be needing for. Uh, finally, my last advice, make sure whatever weapon you're going to be using on the top, do not go over 26 uh, pounds, that's what the tripod is rated for. Uh, if you like this video, give it a like, subscribe, share it among your friends. If you have any doubt, any questions, something that I was not very clear, or any omission that I did. I really don't plan to be Mr. Perfect Guy. So leave me the comments below and thank you so much for your time.